Okay, let's take a kind of abbreviated look at uh, listening out for one physics body hitting another one. And to do this, what you're going to do is put a little comma after SK scene and then write in here SK physics contact delegate and then write self dot physics world dot contact delegate equals self oops don't put the period after that and then from that point on what we can do is and let's scroll down here to the bottom we're gonna um, put in a function called funk and then did begin contact just let it auto fill itself in and um, we will be listening out now for physics contacts or, or one thing colliding with another one so uh, to set this up what we need to do is define the uh, contact mask for the items that we want to uh, connect with each other and actually I mean they're still gonna uh, physics ba physics based objects are still gonna contact each other but it's really just a matter of whether or not we're paying attention to those contacts so what we're gonna do is grab our player we're gonna make its category mask equal one and then its contact mask equal two okay and then on this little dummy over here we're gonna make his <laughs> category mask equal two and you can set this to one now so basically we've just kind of flip flopped so if I go back and forth over here and programmably we can we can set it so that uh, one body can listen to more than one contact mask but if you're just gonna do this like really simply here in the scene editor they actually only give you one option over here and if you wanted it so that uh, these guys would uh, never touch each other uh, you can put in here zero for their collision mask Oop, there we go and let me just double check to make sure that that is working okay. Well, since you fell through the planet, I would assume so. So let's go ahead and set these back. And I do want to make sure that uh, when I do that, the uh, the bodies are, they do actually have their collisions uh, back again. I Again, there's some weird caching things at times with the physics bodies in, uh, there we go. All right, looks like everything's back to normal. So we've got our category mask and our contact mask. And one big thing to, um, to note about uh, these options is you're going to want to set them in uh, powers of two. So if, um, let's go start with this guy. Uh, if you don't want it to be one, you can set it to two or four or eight or 16 or 32. Oops. 64 and so on uh, like that and I would assume that well no actually that's not the case I was I was guessing whatever this number right here is is probably the most the maximum one but now that I think about it that's a five so there's no way that could be the case right okay so uh, we've got our two guys and we're gonna start listening out for them uh, connecting with each other over here in our game scene dot swift file and to do that we're gonna write if contact dot body a dot category bit mask equals one and contact dot body b dot category bit mask equals two okay so that refers to those uh, uh, category masks that we just set up we only put in there one and two and keep in mind when this function runs it's uh, it's only going to run when there is actually a contact and this sk physics contact has two properties with it it's body A and body B and uh, now it's kind of our job to figure out um, who was it, who's body A and who's body B but keep in mind too that um, you don't really know if body A is going to be the one or if body A is going to be the two so what you've got to do is also put in here else if and then reverse it around so body A could have actually been category bit mask one and body B could be um, or I'm sorry, two and one, right? There. You get it. All right. Now, uh, again, yeah, so we've got to figure out who's who. And what we'll do is we'll say if uh, let um, uh, we'll just say player body. We don't want to use player. And this is a soldier equals contact dot body a dot node as. And then we're going to want to try to cast this as a soldier. And if that fails, we obviously know that body B was was the soldier in that case uh, so then um, well let's um, let's do this right player body and let's write a function inside of our uh, soldier class so that we know that we connected with it and what I'm gonna do is just write here function and we'll say um, 
physics, I don't know, alert. <laughs> and we're just going to print out a statement. We'll just say hit by physics body. Okay, of course you can do anything inside of here, but let's do it for now. And there's my function that I just wrote. So I'm going to put in there physics alert. And uh, then what we'll do is let's copy uh, this down over to here. And in which case, you know, if that's if that's not um, if that's not true, then it must be body B is the uh, is, is one, which is our soldier, right? Uh, so this should actually be enough to test with. We we don't really care about um, our other contact. We don't need to do any sort of uh, uh, testing here. So uh, let's give it a shot. We're gonna grab them, and you know what? Let's make sure that we can see the uh, output window. Doink and hit by physics body. Now, obviously, this runs a few times, and uh, you know that, that's just kind of what's gonna happen uh, with the. Uh, you know your physics running in the scene so if there was something that you like desperately only needed to happen once you know that's maybe a situation for either using a did end contact or just uh, putting something some sort of boolean variable inside of here that um, kind of maybe temporarily dis disallows another contact you know inside of this you could write you know if uh, just hit by contact or yeah something like that equals false I don't know the whole mirror had a thing so that, that <laughs> that's a rabbit hole we don't really uh, need to go down but uh, the point is that we do have uh, the the two bodies uh, connecting with each other and you know a lot of times what people will do is uh, me included when you're setting this up is uh, do a, a little enum so you would write uh, maybe uh, bodies and Set the type to uh, UINT 32. And we can put in here soldier. Uh, this is going to, oh, wait. Case soldier. That's going to be one. Case other body. That's going to equal two. And then we come back down this way and see if um, bodies. Dot other dot soldier dot uh, raw value, just so you kind of have some shorthand ways of uh, you know, so you don't have to remember. Oh, what was what was one? What was two? You know, and paste that over here, and let's just double check to make sure that actually works. Drop them down, and I think I saw some stuff happen down here. All right, so that is pretty cool. And uh, keep in mind, you do you could change this to, um, uh, or just add another one. Funk did end contact, and that's going to actually tell you when the two bodies have ceased contacting each other. But keep in mind too, they could then like sort of nearly immediately run into each other one more time again. So there you go.